Hello, what is up guys and welcome to part four of our uh, introduction to financial math practice test number one. At least I think it's part four. If you haven't watched the previous parts, I encourage that you first watch those before taking a look at this. Um, if you have, then welcome back and let's get right into the math. Um, I encourage that you first pause the video and try this problem on your own before I explain to you how to do it. Okay, now I'm going to assume that you pause the video and I will explain how you would solve this. So calculate the amount to be repaid on a principal of one thousand seven. What's going on? Of one thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars at ten percent annually. So in our previous video, we had a very similar problem, which is this problem six, where we discussed in our previous video. But this is equal to one thousand seven hundred and fifty times by one plus zero point one. If you're not familiar with how I got this, um, watch our previous video, and we have a video on simple accumulated form of interest. We'll explain that better. This is the same thing as doing 1,750, which is our principal. And now we are adding on 1,750 times by 0 0.1, which is our accumulated interest over the year, right? So this is our principal plus accumulated is the total amount that we will be paying back. And this is equal to, um, I was writing with my razor. And this is equal to 1,925 because 1,750 times by 0 0.1 is 175. And 1,750 plus, 1, plus 175 is equal to 1,925. Principal plus accumulated plus our interest plus our additional interest is our um, final thing. Now determine the average of, is our final answer, sorry. Now determine the average of 90, 66, 84, 72, and 98. If you're not familiar with this term, calculating the average, we have um, various videos on statistics, mean, median, and mode, um, and symbol versus weighted average. I encourage that you watch those first before coming to this. Um, but now we would just do 90 plus 66, because average is just our, our total number over our number of terms. So plus 84, plus 72, plus 98, and we have one, two, three, four, and five terms. So this would have to be divided by five. And now if we do the math, this is equal to 410. Um, yes, I did that correctly. 410 over five, uh, which is equal to 80, 82. Yes, 82. So this is option number, option letter A. The last one is the best way to depict a future prediction is simply by using a line chart. A line chart would normally look like this, and it'll show you a trend. And then, you know, if you see a chart like this, you'll say, okay, well, in the future, it'll probably continue to rise. So line charts are the best. Um, we have more videos on charts where we go deeper into this, and we explain it a bit more clearly. Um, uh, hello, guys. Uh, the video got a bit cut. I'm going to do one more problem. Find the answer for 51.04 times 0 0.001. Now, normally, they would allow you to use a calculator. Uh, for these problems. I'm not sure if they would let you use it for a problem like this though, but using these um, answer choices, it's pretty obvious which one is correct. And um, you generally want to get through these problems really quick just because they're super simple, super easy. You can already tell that these first two options are wrong because they don't go um, enough place values back. So just eliminate those two. Now you're between option C and D. Well, D goes 5, 4, this goes 5, 1. You can see that this number begins with 5, 1, so it's C. Bang. 